Hey guys, welcome back to The Marketing Den. I'm your host, Seth Riley, and today I'm gonna to show you how to optimize your WordPress blog using a few cool tools that I personally use to take my site from, uh, let's see here, 68%, which is a D, to 90%, which is an A. And that's a huge percentage difference, guys. Um, just for overall performance on your website, when a visitor comes to your website, and they want to, <clears throat> and they want to uh, check out your content. Well, obviously, they're not going to wait around forever. And analytics have shown over a long period of time that vis visitors tend to leave if if the page takes a long time to load. So I'm going to show you how to minimize that as best as possible. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up a new tab and type in Total Catchy. Right here it is W3 Total Catch. You go ahead and click on that, download the version, and once you've downloaded the version, you can go ahead and close out that tab. Go over to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new, upload, and choose a file. Once you've chosen the file, go ahead and install it. And after you've installed Total Catchy, you can scroll down here. Actually, I gotta activate it too. And as you can see, I just ran a test and my percentage is 68% right now, which is a D on my website. That's pretty bad. It's definitely not good. And I'm sure Google appreciates a fast loading website. And I've been told that it helps with PR rank as well. So go ahead and activate the plugin. And we're just going to go over a few settings here. Scroll down to performance. That's the new W3 Total Catchy plugin. Uh, general settings. And scroll down, you can see here general. Toggle all catchy types on or off at once. You don't really need to enable that, so don't worry about it. Um, page catchy, you definitely want that enabled. You can mess around with the Mimified setting. Uh, what I would suggest doing is checking the boxes, auto, manual, enable, go back to uh, GT matrix, metrics or whatever, and go ahead and run a optimized test on it and see where it scores. And obviously you want your score to get higher and higher percentage wise. Let's scroll down to the next one. Database. Um, you can enable this if you want to enter your FTP um, credentials. It'll give you the option. You can mess around with that as well and try that. Uh, go ahead and enable the object catchy. You don't really need database catchy if you're using object catchy. So try the object catchy first. I believe it's default anyways. So basically all you guys really got to do is upload total catchy and activate it. And the rest should pretty much take care of itself. Like I said, they kind of have a default setting that works really well. But you can choose to optimize it and go a little bit further if you want just by messing around with the different options they have here. Um, you want to enable the browser catchy if it's not already enabled. CDN, don't worry about this, this one. Reverse proxy, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, you can set up a Cloudflare account and that helps with optimization as well. And there's a few other settings. If you want to upgrade to the pro or the premium version, go ahead and enter your license key here. I don't need it because once I do these optimizations that I'm showing you guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go from a 68% to a 91 or 90%, which is an A in Google's eyes. Miscellaneous settings. Um, you might want to debug your, your settings once you set everything up if you run into some problems. But you shouldn't really run into too many problems here. Just make sure you don't have any other catchy plugins installed if you're going to use W3 Total Catchy because there's potential that they could conflict with each other. So those are the general settings and that's all you really need to worry about guys. There's just a ton of other settings over here that you can kind of explore and go through but we're not going to get into that today. The whole objective is to get you a faster running website and using uh, simple methods to do that. So let's go back over here to GT Matrix. 
I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to type in my URL to the marketing den dot net and you just press go and it'll analyze the URL for you and just give it a second to uh, run the analytics and it'll come back and tell me how much better my website is performing okay well there you go guys I literally went from 68 percent to 91 percent from a D to an A just by installing W3 Total Catchy. Now that just shows you the power of this plugin. It's really great, guys. There's another plugin I want you guys to check out. Open up a new tab, type in Smush It. Sorry, I spelled that wrong as usual. All right, and just go down here to WordPress WP Smush It plugin. Click on that. Go ahead and download that right here. Once you've downloaded that, go ahead and close out the tab. And go back over here to your dashboard. Go to pages. I'm sorry. Go to plugins. And then add new. Then install the, the plugin. I already have it installed. I'm just going to go ahead and activate it again. You guys go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, and once you activate WP Smush It, as it just activated, you will not find any settings down here. You will have to look up under Media, and it will say Balk Smush It. So go ahead and click on that. And down here, it's going to give you the option to run all images through the WP Smush It right now. Uh, it may or may not work on your existing images. This is something that will take place as your site grows and you continue to add more images and videos and things like that. It's going to smush all the file types down the best it can um, to give you optimal loading time on your website. Um, so you just go ahead and run all images through the WP Smush It right now. And it's going to take a little bit to perform this task. I'm not so sure it's going to be able to smush any existing images down. You guys are going to have to test that for yourself on your own site. But it's definitely a handy tool to use for future uploads that you have in your media bin. And, you know, Google it definitely looks at performance now. I don't think they used to really look at performance as much as they do now, but it's becoming a big thing because there's so much analytics out there. Everybody knows that when you go to a website that you want to visit and you're on the home page or whatever and it's just taking ages for the page to load they say I believe it's around five seconds that people will lose interest and leave your website and just search for it on someone else's website because with all the great technology and the high-speed internet out today people just get so impatient they don't want to wait so okay here we are it ran the test it'll say errors on some of these it'll say uh, yeah, it'll say it worked on some of these, it didn't work on some of them, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, you can play around with the Smush It plugin a little bit. There's really not too many settings. Like I said, this is for um, mainly for existing media that you upload. But we're just going to run another test here at GT Metrics just for the heck of it. Just to see if it does help the performance. It may, may or may not. It may decline the performance. This is something you got to just decide for yourself every theme is different everybody is using different plugins certain plugins may conflict with other plugins so you gotta be careful when you're using this type of stuff wow look at that guys 92 percent <clears throat> that's pretty awesome guys I'm thrilled with that you know what I'm not gonna try to optimize my site anymore I got a ton of uh, content on my website I got my home page my where all the WordPress tutorials are for your for you guys right at your disposal. I also have my blog right here. And then I have the forum. And all my pages are loading really fast and that's just great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little tutorial about how you can optimize your WordPress website. <clears throat> that's it for today guys. Stay tuned for more tricks and tips on how you can become a WordPress expert overnight. Thank you and have a good night.